You watching daytime tea time with Candace. Daytime tea time. Daytime tea time. No way. Only I can eat your breasts and that's totally true. Daytime tea time. It's time to pour this tea, stir this tea, and sip this tea. Let's get right into it. Hey guys, it's Candace. All right, you see that title, so you already know. We're about to talk about Nicki Minaj. All right, guys, I'm sure you already know today is Nicki Day, hashtag Nicki Day. She is number one trending worldwide, okay? Hashtag Nicki Day. Nicki dropped two amazing songs, Barbie Teens and Chun-Li. She even announced that she's gonna be doing a documentary and that her newest album that's gonna come out is gonna be her best album. Y'all, she said so much today. She gave an amazing interview, okay? So if you missed the interview, I'm gonna be doing multiple videos about that interview, okay? But right now in this video, I'm only gonna talk about the part where she talked about Cardi B. Now she spoke about Cardi B and the song Motorsport that she did with Cardi B and Migos. And y'all, she basically said that Cardi B hurt her feelings and so did Quavo and so did the whole Migos basically hurt Nicki Minaj's feelings because they basically painted her to be this bad guy. I have the audio. I'm going to play it for you really quick and then I'm going to come back and tell you some more. After Motorsport came out, I remember like when I first came in the game, um, if a female of that stature had done a feature with me on it, I would only be, you know, singing their praises mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and saying thank you. Mm -hmm. The first um, interview she did after Motorsport came out, mm -hmm. It just really hurt me because you know, cause she looked so aggravated and angry. And, and one, the only thing she kept saying was, oh, I didn't hear that. I didn't hear that verse. I didn't hear that verse. She changed her verse. Like, I was like, what? Mm. You know, I remember, I remember when I first did a song with Trina for the first time. That's why to this day I love Trina because she is the first female rapper, I think, that, you know, acknowledged me behind the scenes and said, you know, I want you to, you know, I want you to be on my album. Till this day, you've never heard me speak. You've never heard me speak ill of, of Trina just because of that. Yeah. That's very important. Um, and so her most recent interview, Cardi, that's when I just came back on Instagram and I saw it and I felt good. I finally felt like she said something genuinely nice, you know, mm -hmm. about me. But um, with motorsport, I kind of felt ambushed. You know, I felt like Quavo at that time was, like Quavo is my baby. I love Quavo. And um, at the time I told, I went on Twitter and I explained how Motorsport came about. Mm -hmm. And you know, people were saying that I was lying. So I texted um, Quavo and I said, hey, just, you know, could you back me up on this? Because, you know, I don't want people to think I'm lying. What do I have to lie about? And um, he didn't back me up. And, you know, he texted me. He was, he was like, I would, I would, I would, I would, um, I would, I would go on Twitter and back you up if you were my girl. LOL. And that hurt because he's somebody, like, I love him, you know? If there are certain rappers, you know, who I, who I call my baby. You know, Quavo, Uzi is my baby. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, Sway Lee is my baby. Mm -hmm. And so Quavo told me, I'm not going to go on Twitter and address that shit, man. Like, if I do an interview, you know, then, I'm, then I'll address it. And I was like, yikes, you know, mm -hmm. because... I was, it hurt my feelings to know that people would watch me be slaughtered and no, not one person will, will, will step in to say the truth. You know, they will run with that lie because it's, um, can I have some water, please? They'll allow people to run with the lie because it's, it's entertaining to, play, to, to make Nikki seem like a bad guy. And, and, and it's sad. Quavo texted me. I still have the text in my phone. First of all, Quavo came to my studio and played um, Motorsport. He was the only person on Motorsport. I said, oh, that's a hit. That's out of here. I want to get on that one. He wanted me to get on a record call for, for keeps. Mm. She for keeps. I said, no, please, 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 please. Let's do Motorsport. He came back after and said, um... You know, well, you know, um, all the guys going to be on motorsport. Mm -hmm. I was like, okay, yeah, I figured that. You know, I knew that much because I knew they were working on their group album. And he texted me and he said, is it okay to put Cardi on it? And I still have the text in my phone where I said, yeah, let's do it. And that's the only story I told. You know, I said how exactly how it came about. Mm -hmm. And when it was time to clear the air about that, no one did that. You know, everybody... All of them allowed me to 
look like I lied. And, you know, even with the scheduling conflict, she's using my hairdresser now. So even he can attest to the fact, Tokyo, he knows that there really was a scheduling conflict and it was because of him. He's the one that couldn't show up. And I texted him. I said, you know that if I don't show up the day she's shooting, they're going to act like it's it's because I'm doing it to be mean, you know, with with the with the current Nikki A train. And he he wasn't able to come. You know, he, he had something to do. And that's fine. So I had to shoot on another day. They all knew that, especially if you're using my hairdresser now, he can he can attest to that. And and you still did interviews and and y'all all still jumped around that. And just to paint Nikki as the bad person so that you could play the victim. And um, that really, really hurt me and that, because I really fully supported her. And um, up until this recent interview that she did, I had never seen her show me genuine love in an interview. And I could just imagine how many girls wish, how many girls wish they could have been on a song with Nicki Minaj. Okay, so y'all heard that. Basically, she's saying she did not get the respect that she wanted from Cardi B. She feels like Cardi B definitely could have deaded all the rumors about Nicki Minaj being the bad guy and the diva and not wanting to be in the music video and all of that mess. And she just feels like Cardi B, Migos, and specifically Quavo, would not come to her defense when everybody thought that Nicki Minaj was being a total diva. So that was very informative. Like I said, guys, I'm gonna make multiple videos about this interview, okay? But for right now, I'm done with this and I need y'all to comment your thoughts below on this whole Cardi B versus Nicki Minaj and how Cardi B and Migos set her up to be the bad guy. I need y'all to comment your thoughts below. Do you believe Nicki Minaj? Comment your thoughts below, let me know. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and I'm gonna catch you in the next one, all right? Bye.